Are you looking for a satellite dish? Are you looking for a C-band satellite dish? Are you looking for a mesh dish? The place you want to go to to find that is Tech 2000. Tech 2000. Check out Tech 2000 for all of your satellite products for free to air satellite reception. Today on the Happy Satellite Nerd, we are going to take a look at the blind scan and how to set up a blind scan on the Z Gamma H7 4K satellite receiver. So if you purchased a Z Gamma box from Tech2000, you can go to their forum page, um, tvro.sat. Now, by the time of you watching this video, I will post a link in the, in the uh, description. Uh, so where you can find this link So you go here at uh, tbro.sat and it says the gamma 4k blind scan So you go there And you just essentially it the blind scan is in Something very similar to what I did in a previous tutorial about the master channel list just have to have the master um, the latest master channel list on your receiver so not found okay what's it about uh, save link as version and you know but anyway if someone can write a version of this program in Linux it would be make the, my workflow so much better for this so you launch this program here, Dream Set. Let's full screen that. All right, so you got Dream Set here. And you got my uh, connect with my receiver. I think I might be connected, yeah. So I actually see, it actually sees my Z Gamma there. It sees the um, SNR and the AGC. So I'm gonna open up now it reads as a lame DB file, but I'm gonna go in my USB folder here. I'm working with a touchpad, not a mouse, and this touchpad is terrible. So I'm gonna go with this folder here that has the listings from um, what would be the date there, March 13th or whatever, March 14th. That's when they came up with this uh, blind scan. Okay, now the one thing, the bummer about this is I will have to redo my favorites list that I did in the previous video, but that will just take a short amount of time. I don't have a whole lot of favorites. So I'm going to... Well, mate, first off, I just want to make sure it has Galaxy 19 and all that stuff. It just has a huge list here of channels. Anyway, I'm just going to write it and hope for the best. So, writing to my receiver, connecting to the Z Gamma. I'm looking over at the TV at the box just to see if it's doing anything. Information please wait while Dream Set is writing your settings. So, it's writing the settings. My receiver went to sleep. I want to do a black screen on the TV. Transferring files. Sending telnet command INT3. Transfer complete. And then my Zgamma has gone back to the open ATV 6.0 thingy and it has a little greenish bluey swirly thing at the top right corner of the screen and I got my weather data my time does it have the right time it does have the right time 
So I'm going to take you to my uh, 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 off this video to the to the um, to my TV. All right. So before you go to a scan, you just uh, set your settings like how we have it set here. You can do a at least it says on that web page uh, do a network scan. I don't know if whether or not doing a network scan or not does much of a difference, but um, you go here to a manual into your manual scan and you do a fast blind scan satellite receiver. And in my case, I have it set for tuner A, which is a DVB S2 tuner. And you just hit the green button on the remote and you do a scan. You go menu, you go setup, service searching, manual scan, and then that will take you into blind scan for 45 minutes. Preferred transponder, signal satellite. I found I was having trouble before, but what I ended up making sure was on signal, single satellite instead of like a, doing a single transponder because they would just do like a scan in like one second. Uh, clear before scan. I don't like losing my channels and only free channels is what you want to have it set on. So you go to your tuner configuration and what you want to have that set up to. Now I have it on a LMB3 which is a satellite that I have on my port D. So I have that over like I have a disc dissect switch going to another KU band satellite. So I have it over there and this is a linear KU band satellite. So just have that set there and that's how you set it up. You just gotta go through these settle, uh, settings here. You want to go west. When you come to uh, your satellite settings here, you might have your LMBs that are not configured. If you're just setting up your satellite, it'll all, they'll all say like this. And like I'll have this one that's set up. Um, so you just go to your west of 135, 39, and you'll see these options here in your settings. So you want to just um, go through these for each of your LMBs for your fast blind scan. Now, if you're doing a KU band, you want to just watch carefully there and make sure you do a, for example, for a, a KU band uh, transponder, you want to go to fast blind scan, LMB3. Uh, and these are the, the uh, LMB's frequency settings. And uh, go through here and it has it in the port D, or the DISAC, disc Q, DISAC, whatever you call that. Uh, one, um, and then on my receiver, I have it on port D. Now, if you were to do this on a, uh, on a C-band setup, I would go, do, do, do. here, I'll go here. So LMB1 is my C-band set up for all the C-band. So I don't want that. I would want the, which I do have it set up for, would be the C-band blind scan for DVB-S C-band, which will take um, 30 minutes. So this one here, C-band should be set up to, oh, oh that many LMBs. LMB1, which would be here. So you gotta get, you can't, so if you have like a few LMBs in your system, you'll have to go through this like that. And also keep in mind, this is DVB-S, not S2. So you also have to find the DVB-S2 um, one, which will be in here. There's a whole lot of different settings in here. But for mainly like the stuff that is like, I think I have my C-band dish aimed at Galaxy. Oh, there's the... Uh, so that's set up for... Whoa, that's the wrong LMB. That should be set up for that one. Fast blind scan C-band. Save that. Okay, go... Yeah. And then go back into there. And then that's DVB-S2. And then for DVB-S, I want that to be in there for C-band as well. And it's in the port A of that. 
So I'm just going to hit green button, save that. I guess, yeah, well, sure, whatever. Um, so, quickly, just to do a test, I am going to take this to, I believe I'm parked on Galaxy, or 99 West right now. So I'm just going to go green button, reception list. There we are. Just moving down the list here. Now, another thing is, because I just did a scan there. That's just going to show me all the fast blind scan. Okay, so it actually scan showed it as a satellite. So, okay, I'll have to figure like more of the programming part of this. So, there's uh, the channels, the news source channels that I scanned in on that transponder over here. So, it actually says it's like an extra satellite. But you can uh, go into your channel editor and put the channels that you're looking for in your favorites list or whatever. Okay, so that's how that's working. I thought so. I was just wasn't sure. So that would be like if I wanted to scan, for example, um, that would, this would be the last scan. But if I want to go into say go menu, go setup, go service searching, uh, manual scan, and I wanted to go in here, fast blind scan for DVBS. Uh, I'm going to go out of multi, multi sat signal satellite, network scan, clear before scan, no, only free. So, in doing this, this is how I would set it up to do a blind scan of 99 West. Go there. And as you can see, it's going through the transponders. Now, it's going to call it 140. Point two west. I guess every time I do a scan, it's just going to add like a, a digit to it. I mean, that's fine. I'm, uh, that, that's kind of interesting that it's doing that. Um, so then you just have to write down that that's 140.2, and that's, for example, where uh, some of the blind scanned uh, Galaxy uh, uh, or no, 99 West, which is, um, gosh, what is 99 West? Anyway, I just I refer to it as like the satellite number, like the, where it is on the degrees west. So forgive me if uh, uh, I, I'm not sure what satellite it's on. So yeah, there we go. We're going through a blind scan on uh, the Z Gamma. There, and it's found Fox SND1, Fox SND4. So that's like a wild feed. So I didn't know that was on there before either. So it's finding channels. And the nice thing is with C-band, it's, um, it's not as long. So you got to keep in mind that for DVB-S, it's going to take 30 minutes. For DVB-S2, it'll take 30 minutes. All right, so I'm going through a service blind scan, and it's just going... Uh, basically, if you see that frequency is at 11, 7, 130, 40, it just goes through that, and it takes about 45 minutes, and I'm doing a DVB-S2 scan. And it's a fast blind scan on my KU band satellite. The only thing is I haven't figured out why it says 105, 150.1 west. I'm trying to scan my uh, satellite that's over on uh, 87 west. Uh, so anyway, um, I'm just uh, learning it now. But I am getting it to blind scan. So this is how the steps go while there, it's doing and it. And I don't actually have my satellite... Um, uh, this satellite that I have on the new source HD stuff, I don't have it tuned up the best. I don't think I was able to get the PBS stuff over the last few weeks. I probably need to go outside and just sort of move it around and um, something might have knocked on it or something. But anyway, um, the blind scan has been able to find the new source stuff on 87 All right, West. And what I recommend you do is go to the TVRO sat form page and go to this tutorial, tutorial 6A software blind scan, and it'll give you a more detailed um, instructions on how to do it. So simply what you need to do is uh, go to your tuner configuration and uh, set up so that you can do a blind scan and then um, move it west of 139 west and then just set up a, 
uh, set up your bl fast blind scan or an accurate blind, blind scan and make sure uh, to remember that an accurate blind scan will take a long time. It will be very accurate, but it will take a long time. That's the type of thing if you really want to scan a satellite, it's maybe best to either leave it overnight or let it do its thing because it will take uh, hours to do that. So you go through here, and this will just tell you all the steps that I kind of went through just now on my Zygam, and I have a, a screen cap of what's going on here. The professor did this uh, manual up, so he usually does the manuals over at uh, TV Hero Set. So yeah, then you go into manual scan, and then make sure your settings are there. Signal satellite, your fast scan, clear before scan. I guess if you're doing that on that setting, I guess that would be okay. So yeah, that's a point I just wanted to point out. So go get the file, uh, which I'll have the links to this in in the in the video, uh, so you can go look at this yourself. Thanks for watching. All right, now we are going to do an unboxing video. Let's see what's in the box. Ah! It's a snake! Oh no, not a snake! Ah! 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 Ah!